Hi, welcome to Johnny Zen's Kitchen. This is my kitchen, and today we're going to talk about wines. And guess what Johnny Zen's going to talk about today? Zins! So today I've got several wines that I want to introduce you to. They're readily available. I, these I happen to purchase at Total Wines and More. They're not paying me for anything I say positive about them. Uh, but they're also available probably at your supermarket. So uh, all of these are California Zins. Um, and in California, this is the third largest grape that, that is grown. Chardonnay and Cabernet, they go back and forth as to each year which produces the most. Um, all of these are from old vines and we'll explain that as we go through and talk about each wine. Um, you probably know that California is the largest wine producing state in the United States. Matter of fact, California produces 85% of all the bottled wines in the country. The other thing that's really important, and this is the part that I like, is that the average bottle of wine costs, take a guess, $10, under $10. So what we're gonna talk about is what real people drink when you're gonna have dinner, you're gonna go out to the store, get a bottle of wine, to drink. We're not going to talk about specialty wines that you're going to store, that you're going to collect, and you're going to drink them 20 years from now. We're talking about wines that you can enjoy today, tomorrow. So I'm not a wine snob. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert in wine, but I've been drinking wines for about 50 years, and I think I know what a good wine is and what goes with food. And that's all I'm giving you. I'm giving you my opinion. And here's what you're never going to get from Johnny's Inn's Kitchen this kind of a review. Get ready for this. So this particular wine reviewer, who was published by the way, wrote this about a 2013 Cabernet Sauvignon from Sonoma. And this is what he wrote. Deep purple color, aromas of rich dark currants, nectarine skins, gushing blackberry, but lots of fragrant tobacco rich soil, white flowers, smashed minerals and metal, medium body and saucy, but racy acidity stabilizes the wine nicely with robust tannins. Here's the part I love. Deep red currants and ripe cherries laden with mocha, loamy soil, that's the soil, charred herbs, pencil shavings, and hazelnut. Now, how does somebody say this tastes like pencil shavings? Have, have any of you ever decided, you know, I think I'm going to try some of those pencil shavings so that when I drink a bottle of wine, I want to see if I can taste it. Ridiculous. You'll never hear any of that nonsense from me. What we're going to talk about is what real people drink when they sit down to have a meal with friends, family, eh, friends, it's COVID. Someday we're all going to be able to have, share a meal and a glass of wine with friends. Okay, so today we have three wines that we're going to review. Uh, we're going to start with the Ravenswood. Ravenswood really built a reputation with Zinfandels. And they have a number of Zins that they do produce. What I purchased and what I want to review today is their least expensive bottle, old vines, and I'll explain that in a moment. This is six dollars, um, and this is their entry level, if you will, into Zins. So let's take a taste and see if it's worth six dollars, or if it's overpriced or underpriced. sweet, um, kind of light, lighter, although it's from old vines. And the difference between when you see a bottle that says old vines on it, 
That's exactly what it means. They're older bindings and they're 100 years old, some more. Uh, and what happens, it produces less fruit, fewer grapes, but they're more intense in flavor. Um, and so if m most of what I drink is from old vines. Ravenswood as an entry level, $6. On my palate, it's, it's a bit sweet. Um, I don't know that um, I would buy a lot of it, to be honest with you. It's my opinion, so I don't want Ravenswood suing me. <laughs> um, so it, it's fine. It, it's a nice entry in, into Zins. It's not overpowering. Um, you probably will find that people who aren't real big wine drinkers probably will like this. Um, because it's, it's, a little, it's a little sweeter. Uh, there's not a lot of depth to it. There's not a lot of aftertaste that stays with you. So it's a C. Let's call it a C. Okay. Now we're going to step up and now we're going to go look at, you know, I think I'm going to do the Google. So the next we're going to do is the Google wine. Google has is a wonderful winery. They have a number of wines. Uh, they, they usually produce very flavorful wines. Um, and they're, I've had their Zins before. The, this is, once again, Old Vines, California, just like Ravenswood. And I make the distinction about being California Old Vines, which means that they source their grapes from Old Vines throughout California not from a special area. So let's see, but it, you know, it's up to the winemaker as the type of wine he's gonna have. It doesn't always have to come from a certain place. I think I've spoken enough now. I've gotten rid of whatever the residual of Ravenswood is. So let's try Google. Okay, now I can tell right away, you know, a wine, a wine sniff is good. It, it doesn't mean you're a snob, but it'll give you some idea of what you're going to expect. And here I'm going to expect something maybe a little denser, a little peppier. Pepper. Six dollar bottle of wine, eight dollar bottle of wine. Spend the extra two dollars. Um, I always like to take two sips. The first sip, my palate is getting used to it. The second sip is really what educates me, what, what, what tells me this is what this wine has. Again, it's, this is a little deeper in taste than the Ravenswood, but it should be. Um, and it's got a little bit of pepper to it, uh, and not as sweet, not as sweet. A very nice wine. Third one we're going to go to is Gnarly Head. Gnarly Head. Why Gnarly Head? Well, Gnarly because the grape vines, they're old vines, and they get, they're gnarled. They're gnarled. They're not these beautiful new grape vines that, you know, have these long, beautiful arms to them. These are, these are gnarled up vines, but that's what you want. You want an, an old vine because that's the what that produces the, the grape that has the most flavor to it. So this is from Lodi. Lodi is now an Appalachian. Other one, meaning, I, I know you know about Napa and Sonoma, you know, you get wines from Napa and Sonoma, because the grapes come from that particular county. Lodi now has an appellation, so which means very simply, it says here Lodi Old Vines. You know that all of the grapes come from Lodi. These two, the grapes are coming from various parts of wherever in California. So I'm going to I'm going to assume. Remember, I've been drinking wines. I'm going to assume that this is going to be probably the denser wine, the deeper wine. 
Hmm, interesting. I like the smell of the Google better than I like the smell of this. This is also $8, by the way. Mm. It's plain. This is very enjoyable wine. All of these you can have with, you know, hearty meals or spicy meals. Um, you're not going to do fish with these and it'll overpower the taste of the fish and your room, your room where this should be a nice dinner. And so something with spice would work well. My ratings, number one, I would do the Google first. Next would be the gnarly head. And then the ratings would. And I would, I would really put this really at the top without question. I like this wine. Uh, it does have a little bit of depth, not as much as, as the Google. And the Ravenswood, as I said, it's a nice introductory wine for just sitting around, talking, having some spaghetti, and, and not worrying about what really the importance of the wine that you're having. So, number one, my recommendation, Google, $8. Number two, Gnarly Head. I expected more from it. I'll be honest with you. I expected a little bit more from it. More punch, more depth. Didn't get it. Got it from Google. And Ravenswood, as I said, nice entry level wine. So those are the three wines. Six dollars. Each of these are eight dollars. Thanks for watching. And we're looking forward to seeing you again. Maybe we'll do white wines next time. I'm not sure. But whatever it is, it's going to be fun to watch, and hopefully you got some information and it piqued your interest. Thanks for visiting with us. Bye.